Hi, Unnati. How are you? Hi, I am fine. How are you? I am good too. Thank you. So, first of all, uh, many, many congratulations to you. You got selected uh, for one of the MNC company. So, congratulations to you. And how do you feel about it? Thank you. Uh, yes, I am feeling good. Right. So, it's good. Actually, see, the uh, recession is going on. Layoffs are going on. Cost cutting is going on in every company. So, getting yes. job during this particular time period, you know, is another thing. Right. So, can you tell us uh, how did you come to know, came to know about this particular job? Did you came to know from LinkedIn or not? Uh, yes, I came to know about it from LinkedIn only. Uh, means uh, I, I have saw one of the posts from them. Mm -hmm. So, I have approached them. Okay, great. So, they had posted uh, the job vacancy and you had applied for that vacancy via LinkedIn. Okay. So, how many yes. years of experience do you have? Uh, yes, my total experience is two plus years in uh, uh, in manual and automation both. And this particular job role that you have got, that is for manual plus automation or is it just for automation role? Uh, yes, it's for manual and automation. Okay. So, you would be having multiple responsibilities. You would be asked to do manual testing and simultaneously automation as well. Okay. So, yes. Yeah. So how did you, how did you, you know, prepare for this kind of interviews since how long you are preparing? Uh, yes, actually means uh, uh, I haven't done any preparation for this interview, mm -hmm. um, but uh, luckily I got selected. Um, as means, uh, whatever the questions were asked, were like, uh, uh, I, I used to work uh, on it in my daily basis. So, whatever knowledge or idea I was having, I was just uh, giving answering to them just like that. Wonderful, wonderful. That, that's great. You know, see, sometimes people do prepare for these interviews. And sometimes you have that real-time experience for which you are confident itself. So, you don't need much of the preparation. But yes, when you would have got the interview call or interview schedule, then you would have gone from concepts, gone, uh, you would have revisited a few of the concepts and you would have made sure that you are at least prepared for the interview. But the preparation yes. time would be less because every day, day in and day out, you are actually dealing with all that work. Yes, means whatever I have prepared was not asked. So oh. <laughs> yeah, but the question were completely different. So. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So, would you like to tell us uh, what kind of questions were asked to you? So, let me uh, share my screen and I'll jot it down. If you can just uh, tell us what kind of questions were asked. Yes, sure. Uh, yes, so uh, first thing was uh, like uh, my current roles and responsibilities and uh, about my current, uh, uh, my current project flow. Uh, means they, they wanted to understand that how much knowledge I am having regarding my current project and uh, what are my roles and responsibilities. Okay. Uh, means uh, how, uh, how I used to manage the uh, different modules and such kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So the first question was about that. And uh, um, after that, the questions were like uh, situation-based questions. Mm -hmm. So um, if uh, if if you got a bug and uh, the developer and manager uh, denies that, uh, no, it's not the bug, then uh, what kind of step uh, you, you will take or uh, you uh, have you ever, ever faced this type of situation in your career? Mm -hmm. Right. So what then, did you answer? Uh, yes, uh, I means I answered that uh, um, if, if that's a... Uh, um, if, if that a change in requirement and so uh, and uh, and I feel that uh, it's a high priority or a critical that uh, uh, means uh, as far, uh, means in my knowledge it should be uh, it should be there so um, I can um, I can ask my manager and try to convince but if they say that uh, uh, no the, uh, it's it's fine that it should not be there uh, means th this requirement should not be there. So uh, I will agree to them, but uh, uh, if uh, if they say that uh, once we will discuss with client uh, mm -hmm. uh, regarding the requirement. So if if client also uh, agree that uh, 
uh, uh, this change is not required, then definitely I have to agree with them. Right, right. Uh, but yes, after that, uh, uh, if 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 there is a change in requirement and that can be moved to the next print, then uh, we can hold it for the time. Correct, correct. So you mean to say at least you will log a defect and you will discuss with your uh, team leads or managers. You will have a word with them. Next thing is you might be approaching client also. And once client is fine with not logging that particular thing, not fixing that particular bug, then you would be moving ahead. But that is a good thing that at least you will be approaching the team members. You will be collaborating with them. You know, some, yes. some testers are so, you know, aggressive. They don't discuss anything. They just log the defects and they leave it as it is. Right. So that kind of approach might be dangerous. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Ne next question. Uh, yeah, so uh, the next question was like, uh, suppose um, you click on a button and the uh, and the button does not perform anything, mm -hmm. means it does not navigate to any other page. So mm -hmm. what will you test first? Mm -hmm. So my answer on this was, uh, first thing I will, uh, I, I will open my inspect window and go to my console log. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, um uh and and after that i can uh, I, I will check in uh, other browser also right right so maybe xpath would have changed or some locators would have changed that's why the automation script might not be working this time uh not only for uh means the question was not only for the automation but for a manual also like we we get certain con uh, error in console okay. so uh means uh how, how we will recognize the error so the different uh, API uh, response code like 404, 4, 400. So we can say that uh, bad request, uh, uh, like not found exceptions error. So we can find it out by that. Okay. okay. And uh, otherwise, like uh, what type of non-functional non testing have you performed? Like um, uh, I I have I have done performance and security testing. Mm -hmm. So, um, means how how will I perform it? So okay. I I have answered that uh, I have done it by my uh inspect element only. So there is type of for uh, performance and security. So I have done from there only. Mm -hmm. So the next question on this was how will you come to know that the data or uh website is secured so my answer was uh, my answer was like uh, the data should be in encrypted form mm -hmm. so that then uh, the third party does not understand re uh, regarding the confidential information and the website is secure we can say if, uh, say like uh, if the uh, if uh, if in url there is a https instead of http mm -hmm. Okay, so they were so, also asking you difference between HTTPS and HTTP. Yes. So and how uh, after for... that the yes yes please go ahead. Um. Yes, there were only two rounds: the technical one and the HR round. Okay. So the technical round was taken by manager only. Mm -hmm. And these were virtual so, interviews. Uh, no, this was offline interview. Um, so after that, the question like uh, session and cookies get and post methods. Mm -hmm. uh, accessibility testing. Okay. This particular question was asked. Apart from this, any other question that was asked to you? Mm. Uh, currently, I am not able to okay. uh, remember That's the fine. questions. Right, right. That's fine. No, I think uh, you have helped with a lot of questions itself. So, I'm sure people who are watching this video, uh, you know, they would be able to get an idea. Like, what kind of questions are asked? Manual plus automation. 
for two years of experience, right? You have two years of experience right now. Yes. Okay. Okay. Sounds great. Okay. Now, Unnati, uh, see, many people are trying for a job these days, right? And uh, the job market is not that positive. So, what is your advice to the people who are looking for the job? What kind of preparation they should do? How they should prepare? And, and you know, what are the core level questions, core level concepts that they should keep with them, that they should be ready? Yes, so first of all, the first thing uh, they, they, should, uh, they should change in themselves is to uh, stay positive and to stay motivated. So, uh, means uh, if if they are not only positive or they are not uh, not uh, motivated or they are not uh, in self confidence, so uh, it it will be more difficult for them. Right. And uh, uh, the basic concepts uh, to keep in mind are uh, in, uh, as as I said that uh, I was not prepared for these questions, but. Uh, uh, I used means whatever questions were asked. So I, I was used to it from my day to day routine, from my experience. So whatever I answered was based on my experience. Mm -hmm. So um, yes, means whatever uh, you you learn or whatever you work in your uh, um, in in your uh, industry side, whatever like in your organization you work daily. So um, just need to. Uh, learn that, or just need to keep that thing in mind. Just need to remember that. Mm -hmm. So, um, as I was uh, experienced in both manual and automation, so the uh, so it means they wanted to know that uh, if I'm working in automation, so uh, whether I am able to recognize the different tabs and such kind of thing. And with that, uh, um, there were questions like uh, if um, if there is a X path. Mm -hmm. I'm just sharing one question right now as I came to know uh, oh. remind right now. Yeah. So yeah. Oh. Uh, like means there is one locator about which uh, you are not able to find the X path. Mm -hmm. So uh, so uh, what what will you do and how, how will you find the X path? Mm -hmm. Means or like it's a dynamic X path or mm -hmm. dynamic element. So uh, this type of uh, questions were asked. So um means uh, while working we daily come to this type of scenarios or this type of uh, difficulties while working so just need to keep that in mind and uh, fo uh, focus on just the normal uh, testing concepts right right so mm -hmm. so uh, let's say you are working monday to friday so apart from that if you can some take out some time on saturdays or on sundays and you can brush up these kind of concepts then clearing interviews becomes lot more easier compared to yeah. if you you know just prepare start preparing after when once you want to get a job right then it becomes difficult right yes okay so how many pages of resume you had and do you use any cover letters uh my resume is just of uh two pages two pages okay. um um uh, I don't use any cover letter, like mm -hmm. whatever um, experience or uh, whatever experience I have from my internship, whatever are my learnings, I, I have mentioned that only. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, in automation, uh, how much total experience I have and uh, what kind of framework I have used. So that all I have mentioned in detail. Okay. Uh, which type of testing I have performed. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So apart from this work experience of two years, you also have internship based experience. So was that also for software testing only? Yes. Okay. Okay, great. So how, uh, what was the time period of that internship? Was it three months or six months? It was of six months. Six months. And uh, over there also you were doing completely manual testing, software testing, or you were doing automation also. Uh Yes, so internship was of manual testing, but uh, means there was like manual, uh, like internship and training also. So in training part, um, I I have gone through the uh, Python and means there I have worked with uh, automation, means not much, but little bit of automation in my internship also. Okay, great. So uh, how much hype did you receive in the new job? 
in terms of percentage if you can just tell me. uh yes in terms of percentage uh, i got a uh, 50% of hike 50 to 60% of hike so that's that's great right especially when during this time of you know recession and this uh, cost cutting if you are getting that 50% of hike this is very nice so once again uh, congratulations for your new job unnati right any piece of advice you would like to give to the people who are looking for uh, forward to make their career in the field of software testing um uh yes uh, as i just shared that uh, uh, uh no need to uh means worry or take uh, take lot of stress that uh, uh uh i i don't have job means if if any person is uh, uh is facing such a recession or layoff time that uh, they should not uh, take too much stress just be confident and uh, be prepared about your interview so everything will be good right right and then there are various sources also available online uh, there are various channels youtube channels available online so they can get help right from all those uh, yes. sources right and that's how they can prepare for the interview right so thank you so much unnati for joining today yeah you were speaking something you wanted to tell something uh, no means whatever you uh, say i was just agreeing uh, agree to that that uh, yes or uh, we can go through the youtube videos we can also google it and there are also courses that we can buy to grow up our skill so right. from i uh, will give time to our skill to enhance our skill so it will also help for uh, our career growth yeah yeah true true thank you so much unnati and wish you all the best for your career ahead yes thank you